Hello everybody and welcome back to Mitch Speaks English, the channel for fun, fast vocabulary tips. If you'd like to see some more videos just like this, then hit the like button, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. I'll let you know when I post any new videos. You may have been friends with somebody for many years, but it only takes one small slip to destroy that friendship and to make somebody feel offended. And oftentimes it's just a little thing that we can actually fix with a small apology. Now that you've made the mess, it can be cleaned up with a very well chosen apology. And there are lots of different ways to say that I'm sorry, of course. Let's examine some words and phrases that'll get you out of the mess that you're in. And hopefully you won't find yourself in too many of these jams. But we all make mistakes. Whether it's a broken window or maybe missing a Valentine's lunch or forgetting somebody's birthday. The one thing that I can tell you though, when you do apologize, when you do say sorry, always make sure that it comes across sincerely. I'm sorry. Sorry means having regret for something that you've done. So if you back your car into somebody else's car and you hop out and you say with emphasis, I'm sorry. It's very different to bumping into somebody on the subway, giving them a curt nod and saying, sorry, and just moving on. There's no need to belabor that one. But sorry can be said with emphasis. And if you've done something that really deserves a very well thought out proper apology with a lot of feeling, you could add, I'm so sincerely sorry, or I'm extremely sorry for what I've done. I apologize. When you offer an apology or an excuse for an insult or a failure or an injury, you would use I apologize. It's a much more formal way of saying I'm sorry. It's all my fault. You're drawing deep from the well of sincerity here. You're acknowledging that you are to blame. You are taking all of the blame upon yourself and admitting that to that person. I apologize, it's all my fault. I regret. When you use the word I regret in an apology statement, it seems, what's the word? A little bit insincere, it's very, very formal. And this type of phrase was generally used in world wars when you would be sent a telegram if someone in your family had passed away. And the military would generally send a telegram starting with, I regret to inform you that John Smith was killed in action on the battlefield in France. Beg pardon. Big pardon is also cited as a term of apology, but I think it can be used more as a term of indignation. So if somebody cuts you off in your line at the movies, you would say, I beg your pardon. It seems much more of an indignant statement than an apology. Don't you agree? My bad. My bad is quite popular nowadays and it's short and sharp. But it's just a quick apology and it's a way of you saying, it was me. Let's get over with, get this done. Let's move on. It's done. Finished. My bad. Forgive me. You'd use this when you have really screwed up. When you've gone and done it, there's no denying it. You're in the dog box. There's no way out of the dog box. In fact, you've been kicked out of the dog box. You need to ask somebody for forgiveness and you would say, forgive me. A way that we all say sorry nowadays is by the use of emojis. And these emojis are simple ways of shooting a message across to somebody to say, I'm sorry. Let's look at a few ways that you can say I'm sorry in a business setting. If somebody said something and you were going to interrupt them, you could say, I'm sorry to interrupt. And you could carry on with what you wanted to say. Or you could rephrase it like this. You could say to them, great point. But what I'd like to suggest is, and you can go with that point. If you were sitting in a meeting with colleagues and they were discussing a strategy switch that you didn't quite agree with, you could say, I'm sorry, I don't understand the strategy switch. Or you could say to them, I appreciate your point in that, but I'm not quite getting what, you, what you're meaning here. Would you mind explaining the reason behind your strategy switch? Sometimes you need to actually start a conversation with I'm sorry. So you could say, I'm sorry, but what I'm going to say might be quite offensive to you. Instead of using that phrase or that sentence, why don't you say, you know, what I'm going to be talking about may be controversial to you. Let's hear me out and afterwards we can discuss it. Does that sound fair to you? We're going to be going through a whole lot of do not say phrases with different alternates to help you improve your vocabulary. If you're looking for more videos just like this, you can look at the two videos displayed here, which will show you more information on this topic.